everybody. Today I want to show you a new piece of test equipment that we just bought. This is a Monarch PT99 non-contact digital tachometer. And with this, we'll be able to very accurately and quickly measure what the true RPMs are on a gas motor, on a pneumatic tool, or even a power tool. And let's say we're measuring the RPMs on two different drills that have very similar specs from two different manufacturers. Because we'll no longer have to rely on what they claim the RPMs are, we can see without a doubt the difference between the two drills, and we might find that one has specs that are dead on, and the other one that's its competition might have specs that are way off. So this is a very good thing to have, especially if you're testing tools, you're rebuilding small engines, or let's say you just have a lot of things around your workshop that you wanna test out to see what the true RPMs are, this meter will allow us to do that. So next, let me give you some closer up looks at this. We're gonna go over how it operates, and then we're gonna see how it actually performs. Here's a closer look at the PT99, and I wanna point out right off the bat that it is very lightweight, coming in at under half a pound, or only roughly seven ounces. It's just under seven inches long, just under two and a half inches wide, and then it's roughly two inches thick. To install batteries in the unit, it is gonna take standard double A's, and if you notice the rear, it is gonna be a removable little cap. You can press down on that, pull it down, and it exposes the battery compartment underneath. And with two double A's, it's gonna run for approximately 60 hours. Which means if you do use this, and you don't forget to turn it off, those batteries should last you for a very long time. Included along with the unit are two strips of reflective tape, and you're going to need to cut a very small piece of this in order to apply it to whatever you want to measure. Now rather than take this and apply it to the drill chuck, which I would then have to remove and throw away, I'm going to take this very small bit, I'm going to apply it to that, and that means that I can reuse this particular bit on whatever I want to measure in the future. Whether that's additional drills or even impact drivers, I can just remove it from the chuck installed in the next tool, and as it spins, it's gonna pick up that reflective tape giving us our reading. On the rear of the unit, you can actually mount this to a tripod, and they're using standard quarter inch dash 20 thread. The small bolt that sticks through the mounting plate on really any tripod has that same thread. You can line it up, twist the little thumb screw into place, and it's gonna fasten it directly to your tripod. This will allow you to have hands-free operation, and you can use your hands to operate a power tool, you can lock the unit on, and it's gonna give you an instantaneous reading as to what the RPMs actually are. There are two different modes of operation. The first is if you just hold down the button, you'll notice the LED come out the end. And that's gonna give you an instantaneous reading as to how many RPMs it counts as that reflective tape passes through the field. Now the other option is to hold that button in and then press menu or lock, release the button, and then release the lock button, and now you can see the LED is locked on. This is also gonna give you an instantaneous reading. But with this mode, you can also read the maximum as well as minimum RPM readings while it was locked on. So after you stop taking a reading, you can press down, that's gonna show you the minimum RPMs, and then you can press the up button, and that's gonna show you the maximum RPMs. To turn the unit off, you can go ahead and press the up and down button at the same time, and that is really necessary in order to conserve the battery life. If you lock it on and you don't physically turn it off, it will continue to stay on until the batteries completely die. But if you remove it off of lock by pressing the middle button as well as menu lock again, now it will time itself out and automatically cut off after 90 seconds. And lastly, you do have the option of either moving the position of the decimal point or removing it completely. Now stock out of the box, it's going to be at its maximum setting, showing three positions after the decimal point. To change that, you'll just press the menu button. It's going to say decimal point with the number three. You can press that down. It would be two, being two positions after the decimal point. Press it down again, it would be one. If you press it down a third time, it's actually going to say none. If we press menu, you can see there is no longer a decimal point or any numbers after it. And if you're taking a reading with this, it most likely would be easier to tell exactly what the RPMs are. 
Now there will be limitations with the unit, and if you happen to run into a problem, perhaps you're just too far away. It has a maximum working range of 3 feet or 36 inches, so if you're farther away than this, it can't accurately pick up the reflective tape as it spins. So if you do have a problem, just move the unit closer to what you're trying to read, and most likely that's going to clear up the issue. Now that I have the bit with the reflective tape and the chuck, and we have a fully charged battery pack, we can cross-reference what they're claiming versus the actual RPMs on this drill. Now this has two different speed or power modes, speed mode 1 and speed mode 2. Speed mode 1 is going to be a lower RPM, speed mode 2 would be a higher RPM. In mode 1 they're claiming at up to 0 to 400 RPMs, and in mode 2 they're claiming 0 to 1500 RPMs. We'll be able to test that now by just holding it on the trigger. It will illuminate the red LED, which is going to hit that reflective tape, and as it spins, it's going to take an instantaneous reading as to how fast it's spinning. So with it spinning in first gear, you can see that we're hitting roughly 383 RPMs, which is very close to the claim of 400 RPMs. When we bump that to second gear, we'll try the same test over again. And with it in second gear, we're coming in at 1,421 RPMs, which is almost 80 RPMs under what they claim for this drill. But certain pneumatic tools, like this angle die grinder, will be rated at a much higher RPM. This unit's rated at up to 22,000 RPMs with 90 PSI of working pressure, and I put a piece of reflective tape on the mandrel. We'll go ahead and take a reading on it now and see exactly what it's spinning at. So you can see with the trigger held wide open, it's spinning at 21,062 RPMs. We won't only be limited to pneumatic tools and then cordless power tools. Corded units like this floor model drill press that does have numerous speeds can also be tested and verified. Now you would adjust the different speed settings by how you arrange the belts on the spindles. And the way I have this currently set up, it's set for 450 RPMs. I put a piece of reflective tape on the chuck and we'll go ahead and see how close to that number this drill press is going to be. I'll go ahead and turn the drill press on, and then aiming the PT99 at the reflective tape on the chuck, we'll see how close it comes to that setting. And in just a matter of a second or two, you can see that it's coming in at 441 RPMs, which is almost exactly at the 450 RPM setting. So, now you've seen Monarch's PT99 non-contact digital tachometer for yourself. It's very easy to use, it's very lightweight, and like I showed you in those clips, we got instantaneous results showing us what the actual RPMs really were. So we don't have to rely on manufacturer claims to be accurate, now we can verify those, and in any future testing videos of drills, impact wrenches, or really anything that we need to measure the RPMs on, I will be using this and now you know exactly how it operates. Now lastly, I want to point out that this is made in the USA and it does have a one-year warranty against manufactured defects. And if you happen to run into a problem with it during that time frame, Monarch is going to fix or replace this for you free of charge. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.